Tonight on Local Education, controversy over a Bartlett Bible Club. That's right, Brandon. Many first and second graders were taking part in the club at Altruria Elementary, and that was each morning before classes. But the atheist organization, Freedom From Religion Foundation, sent Bartlett City Schools a letter saying the club was unconstitutional. And BCS closed down the Bible Club. Now parents are angry. Local 24's Tish Clark is live in the studio tonight to explain. Tish, I understand one family is taking action to reinstate the club. Yeah, Brandon Katina, the Brown family contacted an attorney with the Center for Religious Expression. They're outraged that the club was shut down because their two children were looking forward to participating in the Bible Club next year. They don't believe it's unconstitutional since the club is elective and held before school. We talked to Nate Kellum, the attorney with the Center for Religious Expression. The message that they are sending these kids is that there is something terribly wrong with you wanting to meet and discuss the Bible. The group Freedom From Religion Foundation sent us a statement that says in part, this development is a victory not only for reason and the law, but for the inviolable right of a captive audience of first and second grade students to be free from indoctrination in a public school setting. Nate Kellum, an attorney with the Center for Religious Expression, says the group is wrong. Kellum says students have the right to meet because the Bible Club is not a club that the school is requiring or endorsing. Whether it's the Cub Scouts, whether it's the chess club, or whether it's a Bible club, they should be able to do it. Okay, a Bible club for third through fifth graders at Altruria has not been shut down. It's led by an outside group. We have a statement from Bartlett City Schools about shutting down the Bible club for first and second graders. That's coming up tonight on Local 24 News at 6. For now, live in the studio tonight, Tish Clark, Local 24 News.